Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Boss OC5. This is our before you buy, so let's check this thing out. So the Boss OC5 is by no means a new pedal, it's been on the market for a few years now but the previous iteration, the OC3, was around for a, for a long time so it was well due an update so you know I can see this pedal being around for years to come so let's take a look. So what's really cool about this pedal is it has this mode switch here and you've got a vintage and a poly mode. In vintage mode you're replicating a Boss OC2 only with an added uh, octave up in there so you've got an octave down, two octave down, and one octave up. So like the classic Boss OC2, in the vintage mode, it's gonna be a little bit glitchy. So if you want really, really clear, really good tracking, you're gonna wanna use the poly mode. So in the poly mode, you retain the octave up and the octave down, but the two octaves down knob becomes a range knob. When you set that knob in the lowest position, it's only gonna play the lowest note from the chord or sequence you're playing. So that can be quite good for chord work and it can be really cool for adding a bass line to a sort of melodic guitar part. In poly mode it is of course fully polyphonic so you can play chords without it glitching out on you or at least without it glitching out on you quite so much. And yeah I find the tracking is a little better on in the poly mode. It also has this switch on here to optimize for guitar or bass and you have a direct out so you can send the affected signal to a bass amp if you want and retain your direct signal to your guitar amp which is quite useful if you're using this in a kind of a one man band setup or you're a guitarist in a band and you don't have a bass player for example. So here's a question for the comments and hear me out on this one. I think this was possibly going to be a Wazza pedal. It's got all the hallmarks of a classic Wazza pedal in that it's replicating one of their old pedals and it feels very much like they made a decision quite late on to uh, switch it to a normal uh, production run pedal uh, but keep all those cool features. Maybe I'm wrong but you know let me know what you think in the comments. Well before we get into some sounds from the OC5 if you are enjoying the video and you like the content on the channel please do consider subscribing and liking the video it really does help the channel. Cheers. For the demo then I thought I'd show you three ways that I really like to use this pedal and I'm saving the best one for last so do stick around. The first way I like to use this pedal then is in poly mode. I usually set the octave up all the way down, I put the octave down one to about halfway and then I use the range knob all the way down on the lowest setting. The direct level is about halfway and then I'll use this to kind of play a somewhat sparse melodic guitar part and get that bass sound underneath. So have a listen, let us know what you think about it in the comments. So the second way I like to use this pedal is really similar to be fair. Uh, I keep the settings relatively the same, only I take the direct level all the way down and then I use this to add a bass line to a loop that I've already started to build. Have a listen, let us know what you think in the comments. So the third way I like to use this pedal, and my favourite way to use it, is to drive a fuzz pedal. So what I typically do is put it in vintage mode, so we're replicating that OC2. Uh, I turn the plus one octave all the way off, 
I've got the minus one octave about halfway, the minus two octave all the way off, and the direct level up. And then I'm gonna drive it into the Btronics Vespa fuzz pedal. And that pedal's got two modes. You've got straight up fuzz, and it's quite a Velcro spluttery style fuzz. And then you've got an octave fuzz that you can switch it over to. So we'll play around with both those sounds. Let us know what you think in the comments. So this being our before you buy video, I'm going to give you some cons first because I prefer to give you the negatives before we give you the positives and then we're going to cover the pros of this pedal. So the first con for me is that the octave up sounds are probably the weakest part of this pedal and compared to the competition like the MXR uh, Poly Blue Octave for example or the POG, the Electroharmix POG, they really leave a lot to be desired. It's really subtle so it does have its uses. But if you want that obvious octave up sound, you're probably better looking elsewhere. The only other con I can think of for this pedal is that the vintage mode can be quite glitchy. Now, <laughs> it's not really a con because it's kind of the point of it, right? But if you're looking for something that's really accurate and tracks really well, the vintage mode isn't the best mode. But hey, that's why we've got the poly mode. <laughs> anyway, onto the pro. So the first pro is the tracking. In poly mode, this thing tracks incredibly well. So when I first got this pedal, I did a side-by-side -side comparison with the Poly Blue Octave to, to check out what the tracking was like on both pedals and decide which one I was going to keep. I found that the Poly Blue Octave from MXR had significantly more latency in the octave effect than the OC5. Another pro, of course, is that you get both a vintage and a polyphonic mode, giving you uh, both types of sounds, making this pedal really quite versatile. Of course, Boss build quality and their reliability is legendary now in the industry, so you've got no worries there either. And finally, it's value for money. This pedal is going to cost you around £135 in the UK, and if we compare that to its competition, the Poly Blue Octave, you're looking at £210, and the Micro Pog, you're looking at around £200. So for what you get with this pedal, that's just incredible value for money in my mind. Well, if you made it all the way to the end, thanks again for watching. And again, if you are enjoying the content, please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you do want to check out the competition for the Boss OC5, we did take a look at that MXR Poly Blue Octave a little while ago on the channel. You can check that video out over here. I've been Jason for Pedalboards of Doom, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.